darkness. This is really in the middle of nowhere. I'll be fine. The movie begins on a rainy night when we see a girl named Sadie carving a crucifix on a tree with a knife. Her mother Mary comes to her and takes her from there. She then asks her not to come inside until the screaming starts. Mary then goes inside the house where the door closes automatically. Then a painting of an old woman is shown and only then she hears some sound. Suddenly that witch stands next to her and clicks her photo and asks her to sit. Mary talks to her about some curse. And that witch asks for blood. After giving her blood, Mary says she wants the devil himself to take possession of the owner of the blood, for both to be locked in hell together forever. The witch asks Mary to go to that person as soon as they finish. She then gives her a knife and asks her to wait for the point of no return. Mary asks how she knows when that is, to which she says she will see the demon's three fingers emerging from the mouth of the accursed. She has to carve the crucifix into the flesh of the throat. The witch then drinks the blood and begins summoning the demon, Suddenly the candle on the table goes out and the witch says they will wait for the devil to relight his candle. The candle lights again and the witch begins to hear a fly buzzing, but she was not able to see one. Soon the witch realizes that she is the one who got accursed and the blood was her own. Mary here reveals that her daughter bled her while she slept and then she starts attacking her. She tells her that this is for her husband Thomas and then carves a crucifix on her throat with that knife. Sadie then enters the house and that witch attacks Mary and catches Sadie and demon starts emerging from her mouth. But Sadie bites off his finger, causing the witch to scream in pain and they both run out of the house. And outside Sadie shows the finger to her mother. Three months later, we see Ellie and her friend Beth. Ellie has come back after her mother's death and wants to sell this house and move back to Haiti. Beth says that she will come to help her tomorrow and then she leaves. Later, Ellie is humming a song while washing dishes when she hears the same song from the inside. Which she gets shocked to hear? She goes inside and turns off the phonograph. Now after some time Beth calls her and tells her that the government is cutting off all foreign aid to Haiti. Later Beth comes to her house and they start discussing it and Beth tells her about a blood drive happening tomorrow at St. Luke's. Ellie asks her to get her signed up there. Then a woman named Dudley comes there and she says sorry for her loss. Ellie says it's okay. And then Miss Dudley says she was the one who found her mother. Ellie thanks her for being a great neighbor to them but suddenly Miss Dudley changes and asks her why she left her mother like her dad. Ellie says she has no right to lecture her about her choices, on which she slaps her, and says she hasn't slept for days and keeps seeing her face. Later, Ellie and Beth discuss this and Beth tells her that her choices were normal and healthy, and that there is nothing to feel guilty about. She then begins leaving and says she will see her tomorrow at the blood drive. After she leaves, Ellie finds a photo album in a box in which she sees cut marks on her and her dad's faces, and she understands that her mom used to hate them both. Suddenly her phone rings and a woman named Alma from the other side says she is calling on the behalf of Miss Ambrose. She needs a care and her mother recommended her last week on the telephone. Next, we see Ellie and Beth at the hospital where Ellie asks her if her mother had it all planned out. Beth sees a mark on her arm and asks about it, to which she says one night her mother took her blood. Beth here suggests her to take that job and Ellie agrees, but she was confused why her mother recommended her for this job. That night, Ellie wakes up with a nightmare and notices someone's presence in her room. She goes to the washroom when we see someone passing from behind her, and then she hears her mother calling her. Ellie gets shocked to hear her mother's voice and her mother asks her where was she. She fearfully comes to her mother's room where she sees her mother hanging on the door, and she asks her to look at her. She asks her why she was not here to help her, and then she screams. Now the next day, Ellie discusses this with Beth, on which she says that Miss Dudley has put these ideas into her head, but Ellie says it was real. Only then the same song again starts to play on its own, and Ellie tells her it was playing when Miss S. Dudley found her mother, to which Beth asked her to destroy it. Ellie says she can't do that, but she has decided to take the job. Beth then drives her to Miss Ambrose's house, and Ellie says this place looks familiar. There they see Alma standing outside the house, who takes her to introduce her to her patient and says her job is till Monday. Ellie asks her about Miss Ambrose's family, to which Alma tells her she has a daughter, but she went away some time ago. 
She then takes her to Miss Ambrose's room, and we see that she is the same which we saw at the beginning of the movie. She then takes her to show her room. And after they leave, Miss Ambrose suddenly wakes up and her eyes go black. Now after Alma and Beth leave, Ellie comes inside the house. She then goes to Miss Ambrose's room and introduces herself. And when she is fixing her cover, she notices some marks on her feet. Suddenly Miss Ambrose wakes up, and Ellie notices something coming out of her mouth. And when she wipes it, it is a sticky substance. Only then she hears her mother's voice calling her. Ellie comes out and closes the door. And here we see Sadie standing in the distance. Ellie then sees the same crucifix carved on the tree there, and her foot falls on an apple. And she sees many rotten apples there. Now when Ellie is getting bored at night, she plays a record on a phonograph there. She then goes to Miss Ambrose's room to check on her and decides to sit with her for a while. When Ellie falls asleep, Miss Ambrose wakes up and the demon's hand starts coming out of her mouth. That hand starts entering Ellie's mouth. But then the telephone rings, which wakes Ellie from sleep. It is Beth on the other side, and Ellie tells her that she found some records here with Dorothy Ambrose written on them, and that she is probably Miss Ambrose's daughter. She is still talking to Beth when she hears her mother's voice. Soon after hanging up, Ellie hears some sound and sees that someone is throwing something at the window. There is an apple outside with a note saying get out before the witch burns in hell. Ellie picks up the apple and sees maggots coming out of it. She calls the police and Officer Green tells her it looks like someone trying to scare her. He also tells her that this place has a superstitious history and asks her what she is doing here. Ellie tells him she is nursing Miss Ambrose, to which he gets shocked and says he thought she is dead. The next morning when Ellie goes jogging, she finds Sadie in the woods. She tries to talk to her, but Sadie runs away. Now that night Ella hears some strange scary sounds and then she hears some spells being recited. And here flies start coming out of Miss Ambrose's mouth. Ellie thinks that Dorothy has returned. But when she goes to Miss Ambrose's room, there is no one there except the two of them. Now the next morning, Ellie wakes up again from a nightmare. And she notices that she now has the same scars on her leg. Meanwhile, Beth tracks down Alma with the help of her dad, who tells her that there is no record of a woman named Alma. It's just Miss Ambrose and her daughter named Dorothy. He also tells her that there's a rumor about that place going way back, and he never saw his investigator so spooked. He suggests her to pull Ellie out of there. Here Mary and Sadie visit Ellie, and Ellie tells Mary that she is here to take care of Miss Ambrose, to which Mary says Miss Ambrose is dead. Ellie does not believe her, to which Mary tells her what's in that back bedroom is a demon in a shell. She locked them up together in hell with the crucifix she carved in her throat. Dorothy wants her mother out of it, but the only way it will let her go is if it has another body to slip into. Ellie still doesn't believe her and asks her why her daughter doesn't speak anything. And here Sadie shows her with her mouth open. Mary then tells her that the doctor said her tongue had been chewed off in the womb, and she knows what chewed it is still in there. Her husband Thomas gave in to temptation once, but when he tried to break it off with Dorothy, she became fixated on him, and when he rejected her, she told her mother that he'd been spreading filthy lies about her. So Miss Ambrose put a hex on Thomas and his unborn children, and that's how Sadie came to be one of the accursed. Beth on the other hand gathers more information about Ambrose, and we see Alma watching her. Mary then tells that their second child Lily was not strong as Sadie, so she died a week after she was born. Thomas blamed himself, so one night he came here and hung himself from this tree. Mary says she took her revenge, although they are not done yet, and they will burn that cabin. Beth goes to the hospital and asks her friend to check if a patient named Ambrose is scheduled to check in on Monday. Her friend checks on the system and tells her that there is nothing on their records. Here Elise's mother haunts her again and she follows her voice and comes to Miss Ambrose's room. She comes to Miss Ambrose and tries to check the mark of the crucifix around her neck. But then she leaves. Beth tries to call Ellie but her number is not reachable. Here Ellie finds some strange symbols made under the carpet and there is also a secret door. She comes down with a torch and when she turns on the light, we see that this is the same place that we saw at the beginning of the movie. She also finds a satanic book there which has a photo of Mary. And then she also finds a photo of her mom and dad. There she also gets her blood sample. And then due to some sound, the vial falls from her hand. Here Beth is going towards the cabin but she gets a text from Ellie on her phone that she has come back home. And Beth turns her car and leaves for Ellie's house. Here Ella goes to Miss Ambrose's room and sees that there is a mark of a crucifix on her throat. Ellie gets scared seeing this and tries to go out from there. 
but then her mother haunts her and says after her dad abandoned them, they had each other. But when she too left her, she had to bring her back. Suddenly the demon starts coming out of Miss Ambrose's mouth, which scares Ellie. Here Beth reaches Ellie's house where the shower is on. She thinks that Ellie is in the shower, but when she does not get any response from her, she feels that something is wrong, and suddenly Alma stabs her with a knife. Beth hits her with a wine bottle and tries to escape, but Alma kicks her down the stairs, and then comes down and kills her. On the other hand, Officer Green arrives at Miss Ambrose's house and tells her that they got a tip that a woman named Mary is going to burn the cabin tonight, so he came here to escort her into town. He asked her about Miss Ambrose, to which she says she is dead, but only then bell rang from inside, and Officer Green goes into her room to check on her. Ellie tries to warn him that Miss Ambrose is not human, and only then do we see Miss Ambrose on the ceiling, and she attacks Officer Green. Now when Ellie enters the room, she finds Miss Ambrose eating the officer, fearing that she runs out of the house for help. She sees a lady officer there and tells her that Miss Ambrose killed Officer Green. Suddenly Beth's car crashes into that lady officer that kills her. Ellie takes Beth out of the car, and as she sits to catch her breath, Beth gets up with a knife, but it's Alma wearing Beth's dress and mask, and she knocks her down. Now when she regains consciousness, Alma takes her blood and tells her that her mother brought her here a long time ago. She wanted to put a curse on her daddy, but she didn't have any money to pay with, so she paid in her blood. She then knocks her unconscious, and when she wakes up, she finds herself lying with Miss Ambrose. Ellie says she knows she is Dorothy, and she gets what it's like to look after a sick parent. Mary told her everything, and she don't blame her for running away. Dorothy then begins the ritual and starts reading spells from the satanic book, waking up Miss Ambrose. The demon then starts coming out of Miss Ambrose, destroying her body. But before it can enter Ellie's body, Mary arrives and chokes Dorothy, rendering her unconscious. Mary then casts another spell to send the demon back, causing the demon to leave Ellie and head toward Mary. Now he tries to enter inside Mary, but during this Ellie frees herself and makes a crucifix on the demon's back with a knife. Demon attacks Ellie and starts leaving from there but Sadie sets it on fire, after which all three of them come out of that house, and the demon tries to stop Ellie by taking the form of her mother. The three of them see the cabin burning and the demon enters Dorothy's body. Now a few days later, when Ellie is on duty, she goes to the burn ward, where she hears the same song and is surprised to see Dorothy there, and all the patients in that ward have committed suicide. Ellie screams seeing this, and the movie ends here. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.